We have a world that is rapidly disappearing on us. Species that are deteriorating faster and faster and faster. I got involved with all the Macau issues maybe two years ago. I met the people of the breeding center and we started working to have more releasing sites. Costa Rica has a very firm belief that the animals belong where they belong and they don't belong to be our toys. The decline of population of macaws here in Costa Rica is more about deforestation and also because they are cut for being pets. Forty years ago, this was an area extremely rich of animal life, but the magic one had disappeared. The magic one was the scarlet macaw. The population of scarlet macaws are lower. We started working on the different projects to take them back into the wild. Ara Macau is uh, the bird of fire that has inspired many, many writers, many, many generations of people. And it was a shame because it was growing extinct in the country. Every species is important in the whole ecosystem, so it's always important to protect one species because we are protecting the forest as a whole. My duty is, not my charity, my duty is to refurbish part of what has been destroyed by human beings. We are reintroducing these birds to be back into the wild, trying to reconnect the population we have in Central Pacific to the population that is in the south of Costa Rica. So this will be intermediate population. We take the eggs out of the nest, take them to the incubator in the lab, and when they hatch, we start feeding them. Now Adrian is preparing the food for the baby. Babies are fed every four or three hours, depending on the age. Babies come to the lab when they are 21 days old and they stay here for two or three months. They make uh, funny noises even when they are babies. When they are two or three years old, we make sure that they are free of diseases and to sex them, then we take them into the releasing sites. This morning was a special day because we finally opened the cage and let the, all the birds go out. This is something that a child, by pressuring their parents and their grandparents and say, hey, by the way, you owe me that sometimes in the future, I will be able to look at the sky and see macaws where they're supposed to be and I'll be able to see bears where they're supposed to be. And I'll be able to see marine species where they're supposed to be. And I'll be able to enjoy the world that you enjoyed and destroyed for me. So they're the ones that create the consciousness up the ladder with the know-how and with the capability of giving them the tools to be able to do the same thing. Ask for what you need. If you're a school child, ask for what you need to do a little favor for, for, for humanity. If each one of us took on saving one thing that's almost on the verge of destruction, we would all benefit from a much more beautiful world. Mm -hmm.